So a swollen thyroid versus a normal thyroid. So if you look back, your thyroid is gonna live right here, okay? And it's like a little band right there. Now, my thyroid's not swollen, but if your thyroid is swollen, you might have a crease here and a crease above, and it might look like there's like a puffy band through here. It might look like you just have these weird creases right here. That could be Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which means it's an autoimmune condition where your immune system can actually attack your thyroid. So if you have Hashimoto's, then your thyroid can be getting attacked from your immune system, and over time, your thyroid can lower its function. So if you have something called Graves, that means that the thyroid is being attacked and the thyroid is overacting and is dumping out so much thyroid hormone that it makes your, your body feel really anxious. It can make your eyes look like they're popping out and that's really dangerous. It can make your heart race really fast. Now that's Graves, but also Hashimoto's, you can also feel anxious because you can have short dumps of lots of thyroid hormone and then none and lots and none. And so then you just feel like there's something happening here and you don't really know what's happening. So what you wanna do is get a few labs done. You wanna check your TSH, your free T4, your free T3, your thyroglobulin antibodies, and your thyroid peroxidase antibodies. Now, if you think you have Graves, you're gonna be doing a test called TSI. So all of those you can do to really monitor what's happening with your thyroid. And if it's puffy, you can take supplements to calm it down. You can take supplements to calm your immune system down. We can talk about how to strategize, how to calm your anxiety down. A lot of this can be managed naturally. And if you are on a thyroid medication, that's okay, but we also need to figure out how to calm down the immune system so that your thyroid doesn't disappear over time and we can salvage the thyroid that you have left. So if you need some help and you have Hashimoto's or Graves, reach out, I'm happy to help.